Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the fill command to fill a designated area with a particular type of block in Minecraft. Now, the fill command is one of many commands that you can use while playing Minecraft to add extra functionality to the gameplay. So, the fill command is really useful for my classical study students who build ancient houses, uh, forums or temples that have large rectangular or square shaped foundations or sit on top of podiums because instead of having to place uh, blocks one by one you can simply type in a few magic words or, or numbers rather and get the job done much faster. So to start with open any Minecraft world make sure you have the cheats and your coordinates turned on in the game settings. So to check this hit the escape key and look at settings have a look at the menu on the right and scroll down uh, you'll see that there's options to have the coordinates and cheats turned on so to make sure these are turned on you can simply click the toggle the switches to the right if they aren't already okay so once that's done you can resume your game now you should see your coordinates appear in the top left hand side of your screen. So these numbers show your location in the game world relative to the point where you uh, originally spawned. So these coordinates, so my, my coordinates here, seven, eight, and three, these coordinates um, are known as your X, Y, and Z coordinates. So the X coordinate runs east, west, and the Y coordinate is your altitude, so up and down. Um, so you can see the little, little one number there kind of goes uh, up and down depending on how high or low I am. And the final one, the Z coordinate, is uh, runs um, south north. So to fill a particular area with a particular block, simply grab the coordinates from one set of opposing corners of the area you wish to fill and write these coordinates down. Now, I've kind of prepared or marked out a little area earlier. So, say I want to fill this area, I need the coordinates of the opposing two corners. So since I'm standing one block higher than ground level and I want my, my foundation to be on ground level and not floating in mid-air, I want to record, make sure when I record my Y coordinate here, um, I want to record it as four, not five. So. All right, so I'm standing on this block here. So my coordinates, I'm going to write down are 10, 4, and 3. It's great. And I'll just go to the opposite corner and jump on top of this block and write down these coordinates here. So it's, they'll be 23 and 4 and minus 7. OK, so now we know the coordinates of the area we wish to fill, we can enter the command to bring up and to bring up your command prompt, simply hit the forward slash button on your keyboard. And oh, hang on, I'll just move that sort of thing out of the way. And you want to make sure you click in the prompt bar here. So when you come to type, you'll actually be able to. <clears throat> so this brings up your a list of commands that you can enter and, and program uh, or tell Minecraft to do. Um, the one we want is in the middle of this list, uh, it's the fill command, so without um, it's hitting space, you just want to type in fill. And now we want to enter both sets of our coordinates, so there needs to be um, a space between fill and the, the first coordinate, so if I hit space, and now I'll type in our first set of coordinates, which was 10, 4, 3, so 10 and then space, 4, space, and three and now we want the second set of coordinates again we have to leave a space between these two sets of coordinates um, so this is 23 space or space minus seven and if we've done this right when we hit space again uh, there we go a list of um, well the start of a list of blocks that we can use to fill this area uh, comes up. So um, I want to fill this area using quartz blocks. 
uh, quartz block. So um, all I have to do now is type in the name of the block, how it appears in the prompts here to the left. So once I start typing quartz, you can see the different types of quartz blocks of, um, I have available are here. So I just have to enter quartz blocks here as it appears. So underscore and block. Great, so it hasn't disappeared, that means it must have done it right. So there, if I hit enter now, um, we have uh, filled the area. So, and there you have it. Now, if you want to increase the volume of a fill, simply adjust one of the Y coordinates accordingly. So in this example, I kept the uh, Y coordinate the same, just to fill one level. But if I increase one of the Y coordinates when I was writing in the fill command to, let's say, if I added three and ended up typing one of the Y coordinates as seven instead of four, then the fill command would fill three levels. So this is pretty useful for when making podiums uh, for temples. Um, obviously the temple I'm trying to replicate here doesn't have much of a podium, just a one level, one, one foundational level. So um, yeah, with, this, this fill command is obviously very useful for um, students when they come to, to do building projects that require big blocky areas like this. So it helps them circumvent the, the tedium of having to go and individually place all these blocks one by one. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, there you have it.